Hello homeschoolers, welcome to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel. So I recently showed you Number Stories book three, which is what I'm planning on um, using with my youngest son whenever we finish Number Stories book two. I gave a flip through, looks like this. It's a vintage math book. We've really, I've really loved the Number Stories book one and two. I will link that flip through video in the description box in case you didn't see it, you wanted to see it. But Number Stories, these books, this series is difficult. They're more rare, especially book three. And, you know, we've been wondering, like, what comes after? Like, what did the, you know, authors of these books, like, what were, I was like, what was going to be used after that at the time and stuff like that. So this is from the Curriculum Foundation series. So I did some digging and I found the study arithmetics series and I picked up the grade four because I needed something, this is grade three, I need something for grade four. This is under the standard service series. So this original book, the one I was trying to find a continuation on of, was published in 19, was it, I think it's 36, where is it? 1934 by Scott Forsman and Company. It is a, look at this. This is a revision of standard service arithmetic, grade three, copyrighted in 1926. So the numbers, this is a revision of this older series. Um, this Curriculum Foundation series, these were published in the US by, okay, look at the name, Studebaker, Knight, Finley. I don't know how to say, I don't know, I, I feel like I should say Rouch, R-U-C-H, or Rutch. Gray was their reading director. Standard Mathematical Service, right? This book, also, you're already right away, you can kind of see there's similarities, right, in the covers, the illustrations. Very, very similar cover pages. Also, you see Knight, Studebaker, Rouge, and Finley again. Scott, Forsman, and Company, same publisher. Okay, this one was copyrighted in 1935. So only, this is actually one year after my Number Stories book was published. So I'm thinking this one shouldn't be too far off right too different in the as far as the progression goes if they publish this the very next year for the very next grade okay preface this book is the fourth grade unit of the study arithmetics so there are study arithmetics their grades one through three right and it even goes on like i almost bought the middle one of the middle school ones for my oldest son but i thought i would just get this one first the one i got uh, was in really good shape and it was a reasonable price. I want to say, like with shipping, I want to say I only paid $20 for this book. Okay, this book, okay, it's a fourth grade unit. It has the same idea. It's the um, pupil learning is not complicated by unnecessary reading difficulties. There is a total vocabulary of about 1,075 words. Um, only about 300 are new to the series. They make some notes. A new and original problem solving program is presented. And three, accepting the results of recent experimentation, the uneconomical and confusing distinction between long and short division is abandoned in favor of the complete form. And number four, provision is consistently made for pupil participation in all developmental units. Uh, they expand treatment of new topics, step-by-step -step isolation, and treatment of learning difficulties, adequate drill, carefully distributed for the maintenance of skills, motivation of the pupil by systematic and objective measurement of his own progress. These pupil learning facilities of the original series have all been retained and improved. And it just looks a lot like my number stories books. Okay, so they're gonna cover, it says getting ready for New York. So it looks like they're going to go over reading and writing money, large numbers, words and signs, add, subtract, self-help practice, checking addition, checking subtraction, multiply and divide. This is the tryout test. 
Seems like the, for, the whole first chapter kind of sounds like review. Checking division, using measures, telling time, one half, one third, and one fourth. Multiplying and dividing with six, multiplying and dividing with seven, multiplying and dividing with eight and nine, and multiplying by two figure numbers, multiplying by three figure numbers, using fractions, dividing by two figure numbers, and getting ready for next year. So there are, there's learning through practice, there's quick drills, number drills, problem tests, problem solving, problems for careful readers, and end of chapter reviews. There are supplemental materials at the back, there's review tests, self-help practice, progress charts, and an index. And again, look, it's got beautiful color illustrations in it. Getting ready for New York, building a hut. So they're carrying on that same kind of idea that there's like a story that they are living within, doing this math in. It says, so the boys had to use arithmetic to help them know what to do. They had to measure, add, subtract, multiply, and divide nearly every day. They practiced many of the things they had learned in school the year before. You may have forgotten some of the arithmetic you learned last year. This chapter is a review of the things that you will need in your arithmetic this year. Yes, yeah, so the first chapter is all review. Somebody marked in my book. I wonder how long that pencil mark has been in here. So, yeah, it looked to me like it just picked up where Number Stories Book 3 left off. It looks like I could just easily use one of our math notebooks and just have them just work in it out of the book. Yeah, find the sums and check your work. Telling time, fractions. So yeah, I think I found it. So I think you could, I mean, you could just get the study arithmetic, I believe like the entire series instead of number stories. The study, the neat thing about the study arithmetic is I did find them in the internet archive. I'll link to this one. Now, I believe you have to have, you have to make, um, they're not in the public domain yet. I forget how many years it is. It's like, how long? Something had to be published in the U.S. to be public domain. I think it has to be published before, like, by 1928 or something to be in the public domain as of 2024. So, but this one is in the library. It's like the Internet Archive, like, as a library book, and if you make a free account you can check it out for an hour you know digitally if you want to look through it you can look through the whole thing um for an hour and then I mean, i'm sure you can check it back out again <laughs> and decide if it's for you and same with the other um the other grade levels if you were interested in like if you could not find number stories book three like and you were looking for it i would go for the study arithmetic grade three it is also in the Internet Archive. I will link it as well. Okay, well, I hope that's helpful information to you. If that is something that you were looking for and having trouble finding, there seems to be a comparable series that is a viable option for us. Okay, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.